I think it's safe to assume that for most of us, the internet has become less of an uncharted realm and more of a landscape of nostalgic pastimes and fond childhood memories. As someone who grew up in the early 2000s, I specifically remember spending at least half an hour every day in my middle school computer lab browsing classic websites such as Type to Learn, Cool Math Games, and playing a game of Snood if I felt like I could get away with it. But like everything else in life, the internet began to change. One by one, flourishing popular websites began to fall by the wayside as more and more advanced sites rose to take their place. Some were completely lost to time, never to be used again. Others were able to be saved by internet archivists, who kept them alive well past their prime. Even today, old websites once thought to be lost are still being recovered, and the feeling that comes with those discoveries can forge brand new communities through the shared nostalgia of its old users. And just last month, one of these sites re-emerged right here on YouTube. Tonight, we will be diving down a newly discovered rabbit hole that I've been interested in for some time now, filled with mystery, horror, and nostalgic terror that only our small little corner of the internet can provide. Strap in, because we're about to take on one of the most frustrating and terrifying parts of my own personal childhood, mathematics. This is Milton's Math Games, a digital horror project created in May of this year. Although still being relatively new, Milton's Math Games has managed to draw the attention of those like myself by playing into the sense of nostalgia I spoke of earlier. But while it might seem fairly simple from the outside, I wouldn't be here tonight sharing this with you all if I didn't believe that there was a larger mystery here. So sharpen your pencils, open your composition notebook, and grab your calculator, because we're going to be solving the haunting mathematical mystery that is Milton's Math Games. As always, my videos do not serve as a substitute for watching the series itself. I've put the playlist link in the description, so when you finish watching the available videos, return here and we can continue on our journey. I'll give you a moment to do so now. All set? Wonderful. Let's move forward. The first video on the channel, Milton's Schoolhouse, gives us a little bit of a sneak peek as to what Milton's math games entailed in its heyday. Great. Hello. Welcome to MiltonMathGames.com. I'm Milton, and I will be your math teacher. Gosh, isn't that exciting? Yeah, well, how about we do a little quick math quiz so that we can see what skill you are at in math. Is that acceptable? Great. Okay. Um. What is six multiplied by seven? The answer is 42. You've got that problem correct. Let's move on to the next problem. Okay. What is 8 plus 2? The answer is... Congratulations! The answer was 10. Good job! Now, this one might be a tough one. What is... <laughs> Divided by Good 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 great. I'm so good job, job sorry student, but the answer was
Alright, we've decided your skill level. You are. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I'm excited to see you here. They would like to help you out on your new journey in MiltonMathGeen.com. Thank you. Make sure to have your parents' permission before you... Yeah, this ain't your ordinary math game site. Judging by the changing text at the bottom of the screen, I think it's safe to say that this Jamie child has somehow had his soul, spirit, or what have you trapped inside the website itself. How this happened is still unclear, but in the final frame of the video, you can see that the picture of Milton and his friends has been replaced by a photo similar to that of a missing persons poster, presumably of Jamie. The next video shows a screen of someone pulling up a Google search for Milton's math games, with multiple results appearing. The person scrolls through the results until they reach the bottom of the screen, where a link to missingpersonsreport.org appears with a preview of the article below. Due to the straight out of 2005 potato quality of the video itself, the text is admittedly very hard to read. However, someone over on the Milton's Math Game subreddit, known as EnvironmentalBed8264, was able to decipher just exactly what the text reads. This just in. A preteen, Jamie Eastwood, has been declared missing. Parents, Ronnie and Mary Eastwood, are devastated. It's as if he just disappeared into thin air. I can't bear the thought of what must have really happened to him. Mrs. Eastwood tearfully states to our reporter, He was just about to graduate 7th grade next month, and we've had to cancel our reservations. We bought him a computer, Mr. Eastwood sighs. Please, if anyone has any information in what happened to our son and where he is, please come forward to the authorities and bring him back home. I love you, Jamie. You're a smart young man, and you'll always be here with my heart, sweetie. Please come back. Mother, I'm right here. Please, someone help me. Mom, help me. Help! Let's see it. It seems as though Jamie isn't just tied down to the Milton's math game site, but the entire internet, where he's able to tamper with other sites like this missing persons article. Although we get no voice narration, it's clear that whoever recorded this footage did indeed notice Jamie's plea for his mother, but closes the tab anyways. I'm gonna tackle these next two videos back to back, as they're quite short. Channel introduction opens up with a greeting from our uploader, who introduces themselves as Charlotte, and provides a screenshot of the channel's page that looks like it was directly lifted out of the earliest days of YouTube. She continues, stating that she merely wishes to preserve the site and its history as she encourages anyone with information about Milton's to step forward and provide any findings to the email account that she gives. And if you've been here long enough, you know that whenever there's an email, I always send a message in. Good afternoon. I'm currently doing research on Milton's math games for a video project I am working on, and I was wondering if you could answer a couple of questions for me in regards to the site and what you have discovered so far. Thank you. As of writing the script, I've yet to receive a response. <laughs> I should know better by now. Not too long after I sent the initial email, the owner of the email, presumably Charlotte, responded. Yes, hello, what are the questions? Thank you for your quick response. Question 1. What inspired you to find the site and recover it? No issue. I remembered playing the site when I was younger, probably 11 or so. I was wondering why I couldn't find much of it anymore. Luckily, after creating the channel, someone sent me the first video. It takes a while to find new clips. Question 2. What is the process that goes into recovering something like this? A lot of waiting and speculation. It's never really a given you find everything right away. I don't quite know if the clips provided are in the right order. I'm just happy to get any assistance on finding this lost site. Question 3. What is the connection between Milton Math Games and the missing persons case of Jamie Eastwood? I don't quite understand. I think I had a friend named Jamie many years back, but he went missing a long time ago. Although I don't see how that relates to Milton's math games. This is quite a random question. I hope Jamie is doing okay. It's been too long to remember everything about him, but he was a good friend. So Charlotte and Jamie were friends back when he disappeared, which at this point would have been almost 20 years ago. Granted, her memory seems to be a bit more hazy than I would expect, but she does indeed know him, and about his disappearance. She also reveals that these recordings that we've been seeing of Milton's math games are not her own. Now, this might be me going out on a limb here, but if Jamie is indeed stuck within the website and has made multiple attempts to reach out over the past 18 to 20 years, it might very well be possible that Jamie is the one creating these videos, recording himself interacting with the site and reaching out to Charlotte in hopes that she'll be able to help him escape somehow. 
It's a hunch. But either way, something tells me that Charlotte definitely knows more about Jamie's disappearance than she's letting on, whether she's aware of it or not. Continuing back to the video, Charlotte signs off, and we're greeted with a farewell screen from the Boulder, Colorado Public Television Programming and a channel called KCNC TV. Searching for the station name unfortunately brings up no results, but we now have a location for where Jamie went missing, and presumably for where Charlotte grew up. Afterwards, a missing persons poster of Jamie Eastwood comes on screen, with a very Joanne Lopez feel to it. Channel update brings us a message from Charlotte, stating that for whatever reason YouTube deleted her entire channel before promptly reinstating it just a couple hours later with all the videos intact. Now, unless YouTube has improved their customer service overnight, I don't think that they were the ones to delete and then revive Charlotte's channel. It's possible that this was another attempt made by Jamie to get the attention of both Charlotte and the viewers, because let's be honest, a ghost inside the internet is a way more likely explanation than YouTube actually recognizing their mistakes within a timely manner. As Charlotte signs off, we're brought to a screen recording of a website known as Spooktube, where we can see a list of topics pertaining to old internet mysteries, ghost sightings, and even some cameos from other ARG digital horror web series. Near the bottom of this list, however, is an unpublished topic dated October 3rd, 2010, the disappearance of Jamie Eastwood. Suddenly, the screen cuts to the borders of Milton's math games around a black screen with distorted text. Can you hear me? I need you to wake up. I need you to remember. I can't stay here forever. Jamie's getting desperate to escape, with his attempts to speak to the audience or Charlotte becoming more and more obvious. But one thing in particular sticks out to me, the line, I need you to remember. In her email, Charlotte's memory about having a friend named Jamie seemed as though she was barely able to recall her friendship, let alone anything about him other than the fact that they knew each other. What on earth could have caused Charlotte to lose memories of her friendship? Not too long after this post, Charlotte uploads a new find to the channel, a mini-game called Toby's Tactical Spelling Frenzy. Say that five times fast. Much like the first video, we are introduced to another character in the classroom type setting, Toby the Bee, as we begin a quite simple spelling game. All seems normal, until we're asked to spell our second word. Hello, I'm Toby. Toby the Spelling Bee. Welcome to Toby's Tactical Spelling Frenzy! You are the new contestant, and if you can spell these words correctly, you might win 10,000 Milton tokens! <gasps> now, are you ready to spell with me? <laughs> I knew you had it in you, student! Now give a round of applause for our contestant! Alright! Here's the first question. How do you spell clothing? Yeah. Let's see you. You choose... Congratulations! That was the correct answer. You're doing great. Now, try this one on for size. How do you spell confined? Let's see. You choose... Oh no, that's incorrect. I'm so sorry. However, you still have a chance to win. Let's move on to the next one. How about... How do you spell... Vanished? Yeah. Let's see. You choose... Congratulations! That was the correct answer. Fantastic work! Prepare yourself for the final question. For 10,000 Milton tokens, how do you spell Jamie? Jamie. Jamie. Let's see. You choose...
You just won 10,000 Milton tokens. You are a superstar. Give a round of applause. Thank you for playing Toby's Tactical Spelling Fancy. We will see you next time. Jimmy attempts one more time to reach out to Charlotte during the spelling bee, and just like all his other attempts, they appear to fall on blind eyes. The final video of the channel doesn't really seem to hold any secrets, as it's simply just the background music of the website itself. Although I did notice a tipped over chair in the back of the spelling bee room, just some odd little detail that kind of stuck out. As of right now, that's all the videos on the channel. However, there is the main website to go over. When you go to the link for Milton's Math Games, you're greeted with a screen stating that ever since the elimination of Adobe Flash in December of 2020, the website is no longer usable. However, that's not really a satisfactory answer, is it? So, I opened up the source code on the page, and as someone who knows absolutely nothing about coding, this all just kind of looked like a jumble of gibberish jargon. Luckily, the Reddit community around Milton's Math Game was on it. A user by the name of Grande Fumica? I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, made some discoveries within the code, where they discovered that Jamie had indeed been inside the website itself this entire time, along with an entire distorted version of the webpage. Grande Fumica also mentioned attempting to type in other terms after the slash on the end of the link, but didn't seem to have any luck. So I made a few attempts myself. I tried various words that would make sense, such as Jamie, Charlotte, Eastward, Missing, Milton, Toby, Vanish, Remember, all to no avail. I tried different terms like come find me and why can't you see me that were always at the bottom of the screen and still no luck. If any code breakers want to go and give this a try themselves, I've left the link to the subreddit page down below where all the different information and various web pages can be found. To say this web series has me scratching my head is a bit of an understatement. There is so much going on here that requires clues that we just simply do not have yet due to the series being as new as it is. Let me be clear here. That is in no way a detriment to this series, nor a rag on how the creators behind the scenes are putting this story out. In an era of endless analog horror projects, digital horror stories, and painfully bad, ooh spooky look at me, villain schlock, Milton Math Games stands apart. This is the well-written, jump right into it kind of horror web series that I have missed. And hey, if it's not for you, the series gently pats you on the back, walks you to the door, and says thanks for stopping by anyways. I'm very interested in the story here, and I really wish nothing but the best for the creators of this series and the story going forward. I'll be waiting very patiently to see what else this series has in store for us. That'll do it for tonight, folks. Honestly, after all these longer projects, it's nice to do a smaller analysis video every now and again. As far as future videos go, I've got a couple things up my sleeves. And yes, as I've been asked about on the Liminal Land Discord server many a time, one of them will be the sequel to my first ever video on Liminal Land. I promise though, this time you will not have to crank up your volume just to hear my voice. But until next time friends, remember, be careful with old archives of internet's past. You never know what ghostly spirits could be haunting those old forgotten pieces of media. I'll see you around.